Hi folks, um, I got a couple questions regarding the instructions for this particular assignment to compose collage in Photoshop. And so I wanted to review the steps um, so you guys have a better understanding of how to accomplish that assignment. So what I wanted you to do is create a new document in Photoshop. Um, and I did that, I went to file, new document. And as I did, um, you then get a series of options over here. And I wanted you to do a three by two inch so the width would be three and then we had the height by two and i also gave you you know the pixel count for that if you'd like as well um you do not really need it to be high resolution so 150 is just fine um you can keep it um defaulting to this color and everything else um you want to be able to open up one photo on the page so first we'll do a create and then i'm going to closer and we want to bring in three photographs to create a collage so the first thing I'm going to do is you can do a file place um, to do that or a command zero or control um, control O or command O um, just to open up some images and for example i have a couple here um, i'm going to start out with this image of the boat front which is kind of in my example on the jetnet page and so you bring that one up and you want to make sure you double click it and select okay so that it's an editable um an editable layer otherwise if you do not double click it um it won't be an editable layer the next thing is you want to um Use the adjustment panel to adjust the hue, saturation, and levels of the photo to your liking. So you can do that by going to the window adjustment, and then you can take a look and um, adjust the levels as you like. And then you know, color balance if you want more of a cool feel to the image. And I want you to play around with that because that's part of creating this collage is making things, um, changing things around and playing with some of the functions in Photoshop. Okay, next you want to create a new layer and open the second photo or graphic. So that would be fine if you just did a command O to open the second photo. I have these birds. So you see these are now in different files or they're different files that are open and they're in different tabs. So I'm going to click on the tab and pull it right down so that I can then use my move tool to move this image right over into this one. You can also do that by um, opening up your, uh, do a file place and placing the images in, but we'll go ahead and do this. Just place that image right in there. And one thing we definitely want to do is make sure that you can see the other image behind it. Okay, you can add adjustments as you need as necessary. For example, I don't want this white to block the background image. So I'm going to go ahead and use my magic wand tool um, to select the white and delete it. And then command D to deselect, go back to my new move tool. If I move this around, you notice that there's still white there. I can then use my magic wand tool to delete it. Command D to deselect, then use my move tool to move around. So now I have these birds flying around, which is kind of what I wanted. Okay, and then um, the next thing you wanna do is um, for the effects, of these images, that's gonna be up to you. I want you to create sort of a mood and a tone. So use the effects down here. You can do um, a stroke, a bevel and a boss, inner, inner glow, outer glow, um, or you can just double click right on the layer and you have your layer styles. You've got um, you know the same sort of options here. So effects are plenty here. And then the other thing that you can also do is write on your layers um, panel, there's a lot of different things. You can do a hard light, um, and multiply, um, it doesn't really change the blackbirds much, but saturation, you can see that created a different type of effect. 
um, divide that made the birds white. And you most certainly can do that. I think I like that, so I'll keep it there. And I'm gonna enlarge the birds, so edit, um, transform, scale. This is all about just experimenting with some of the functions and um, I'm going to edit, transform, rotate as well. I want those birds coming in. And then when I'm happy with it, double click. And that kind of confirms that they're there. All right, so um, moving on from that, um, you want another layer, layer um, for yet another image. So I'm going to do a Command O to open a third image of my choice. Again, you guys can use that third image. And of course, this is a um, low resolution uh, vector image. I don't know if there's such a thing, but it's it does have a watermark. I'm just making that comment because it's probably very small. Um, and you probably can use it, but don't, don't um, copy and use anything for profit because these are actually images that we're borrowing from the web for this project, educational purposes. So same thing, I wanna delete the white, you know, and use it for this particular image. And I'm going to use the eraser to erase this other image, because I used a screen capture. And I wanna enlarge this one, scale. So I'm kind of creating a, a weird story, um, and I want to see you all do the same thing. I've got three images. I've created effects on some of the images, the bird image. I've updated and addressed the adjustments for the background image. And um, using opacity is one thing that's really important as well. So that is the top layer. So I'm going to adjust the opacity of that image. I want to see how one can also work with the opacity in the layers. So a very simple assignment, taking three images to make sure that they're um, combined into one um, collage. Maybe it has a little background, strange story to it, but um, three images using adjustment layers, um, blend modes and effects um, to create some sort of mood um, for three images of your choice, okay? And that would be it for this video and this assignment.